the label c two v indicates which as a principal axis c two, and what kinds of planes should be there vertical. Let us see which is a suitable example for that. The best known example for c two v point group is H two O water molecule. See here, there is a c two axis, and these two planes are there. How can we represent that? While representation, our rules we have to follow. First rule: we should represent identity. Yes, identity is represented. Come. Second rule: principal axis and remaining axis that we need to represent. Here there is only one axis. That's a C two axis. Let me represent that C two. But here we are not representing element. Here we are representing operations possible on that element. So, how many unique distinguishing operations are possible around C two? Only one operation. So, I am mentioning here C two. Then planes are present in this molecule. We can cut this molecule. How many ways are there by which we can cut this molecule into equal halves? And what are the types of those planes? Yes. See, these are the planes. How many planes are there? Two planes are there, so both are vertical because they are passing through the only axis possible. That's a principal axis. Therefore, what are we finding? Total, how many operations are there in this C2B point group? Four. Which are those? Identity C2 and two sigma V. If you remember, I said the one term in the last video that was. Order of point group, total number of operations possible for that point group. How many total operations are there? Four. So, what is order of this point group? Point group is C to B. The order H is equal to four. In group theory, to study the group, multiplication table is very important. Because four essential conditions to be satisfied the group, which are those conditions? Number one, closure. Number two, identity. Number three, associativity. And number four, inverse. In order to verify closure, in order to verify associativity, we need to know multiplication of two different operations. Question arises: How to find that multiplication? Let us begin stepwise. Let us know first what is multiplication. Then slowly in other videos, I'll tell you how that multiplication is established. How did we come to the conclusion? So just only memorization point of view. Let us study multiplication table for C two V point group in which. The operations of C two V will be there in one row, and operations of C two V in one column. Respective multiplication I'll represent at proper place. Let us know what are the results. Here, all four operations possible for C two V point group are represented in two fashions. In yellow band means yellow column by black font. All four operations are represented: E, C2, Sigma XZ, and Sigma YZ. And in blue band, in blue row, all operations are represented in white font. Now I want to represent the multiplication between two operations. Two possibilities are there. I can consider first operation from the column, and then operation from the row. Or operation from the row first, and then operation from the column. Conventionally, we consider operation from column first, then operation from row. Means, if I have to consider multiplication between C two and sigma x z, I'll consider this C two, and their multiplication I'll represent at this. Place that's an intersection place of row and the column. You can consider. Let us start construction of multiplication table. Let me take first operation from column. That's E. Similarly, first operation from row E. 
E into E. The result is E means identity. Yes, identity can't do the change in the operation to which it is multiplying. Both are identity. So identity will remain as it is. It is easy to understand. Similarly, we will give priority to represent those results where identity is obtained. Identity operation is a result. Let us see which operations are there. If I consider a second operation in a column, then with whom I should multiply that C2 so that I will get result as identity. Yes, that is a other C2, 180 degree, further to 180 degree, we will get the identity. So, C2 into C2, the result will be identity. Similarly, if I consider third operation from the column, that's a sigma xj, with whom shall I multiply so that I will get the result identity? Yes, yeah, sigma xj only. So, result will be identity. From this, you might have got one sequence. See, diagonally, whatever the positions are there in a square box, all where be with result of identity. Now, last one position we need to fill. That can be obtained by multiplication between sigma yz from column, means yellow band, and sigma yz from row, means blue band. Sigma yz into sigma yz. Both are the same. So, result will be identity. All identity are in diagonal way. Now, let us produce a result after multiplication of first operation from column and respectively all operations from row. Means, I want to consider multiplication between identity and C2. What will be the result? C2 means as the operation is there in the row, same result has come there in that position. Similarly, if I consider multiplication between identity and sigma xj, what will be the result? Yes, sigma xj, the same as is in the row. Now, last position because of the multiplication between the first operation and the various operations from the row. Identity into sigma yz, the result will be sigma yz. How to remember this? Whatever the operations are there in a row, all are copied pasted in the first row of the multiplication table because we are multiplying with the element which can't do any change in those operations. That's the identity. So, generation of diagonal and generation of first row we have discussed. Now, let us generate first column of the multiplication table. It is simple as we did for the first row. If I consider multiplication between C2 and identity, result will be 2. Similarly, if I consider multiplication between sigma xj and identity, result will be sigma xj. And last, sigma yz and e multiplication between them, result will be sigma yz. So, you can easily understand whatever the first column we generated in the multiplication table, there is a just copy and paste of the original column of all operations. So, diagonal, first row and first column we discuss now left only six results. Let us produce them one by one. Let me consider multiplication between C2 and sigma xj. The result is the other operation which we have not considered. Identity we have represented already and the other operation is sigma yj. Accordingly, what do you think? If I consider multiplication between C2 and sigma yz, because total four operations are there in C2 we point group. Identity already we have considered. Now remain three. Out of those three, we are considering two for multiplication. Hint I give it to you. The third result, which is not considered, third operation, which is not considered, will be the result. 
So C2 and sigma yz we are considering for multiplication. Then what is not considered? Sigma xz, yes, therefore the result will be sigma xz. Likewise, we have to represent the other results. If I consider operation, that's a third operation in a column, sigma xz with second operation in a row, c2, sigma xz into c2, what do you think? What will be the result? What is not considered here? Sigma yz is not considered. So we expect the result sigma yz. Now you will understand. If I consider third operation from the column, sigma xz and multiplication with sigma yz, what will be the result? What is not considered? Yes, C2 is not considered. So what should be the result? Yes, C2. Now if I consider a multiplication between sigma yz and C2, out of those three, C2, sigma xz, sigma yz, what is not considered? Sigma xz is not considered. So multiplication will be sigma xz. Now last position is left. If I consider multiplication between sigma yz and sigma xz, the result will be the operation which is not considered. That's the yeah, C2. Now we have completed all positions in the multiplication table. Let us sum up how to represent that because here only memory based approach we are discussing. Next video will be there where how these results are produced. Pictorially we are, we are working and we are going to derive the construction. During construction of this multiplication table, we represented at corner a point group C2V. It is in green colored shell. In blue band, I represented all operations as a row. In yellow band, I represented all operations as a column. And I want to consider multiplication between them. And during multiplication, I represented first all diagonal elements. You will find all identities in diagonal way. So you can write diagonal identity. And first row of our multiplication table is just a copy and paste of the blue row. Similarly, first column of our multiplication table is a just copy and paste of the yellow column. Now left only six positions and while filling those six positions, you will apply one logic. Identity we have considered C2, Sigma XZ and Sigma YZ. These are the three operations and out of those three, we are considering multiplication between any two. If I consider multiplication between any two, then third will be the result in the respective position. For example, if I consider C2 and sigma xz, result will be sigma yz. In that way, remaining positions in a multiplication table can be fulfilled where C2 into sigma yz is sigma xz. Sigma xz into C2 is sigma yz. Sigma xz into sigma yz is C2. Sigma yz into C2 is sigma xz. Sigma yz into sigma xz is C2. And just observe this multiplication table. You will find symmetry. Diagonally identity are there and other all points are exactly like mirror images to each other. Work on this. That will help you to remember this multiplication table. You need to able to construct by understanding. But first step in our learning remains memorization. You need not to buy hard that. Just you work with that. Whatever you understand, whatever you remember, that's your memorization. Afterwards, again, when you'll repeat, perfectness will be there. Because the reason for this multiplication table, we are going to discuss. As a homework, simple question I ask to you. What is the multiplication between sigma xz and sigma yz? If you were, in spite of xz and yz, sigma and sigma dash, these representations also are used. I want the answer for this question in the comment box.